Well, hello, fellow YouTube survivors. This is Phoenix back with another episode of VoxelCraft on the VoxelCraft server, uh, sponsored by StickyPiston.com. Thank you very much. So, uh, all right. So here's what we got going on today. Um, I wanted to get into mystical agriculture. That that was the next mod I wanted to get into. Okay, and I do have. Some of this um, Inferium Essence, I, I'd gotten some from Mob Drops and was able to make a seed or two and then I'm slowly growing it and I, I'll continue doing that. But I can't really get any further without Prosperity Shards, which you're supposed to be able to find as ore. We'll go back to, see, Mystical, yeah, here we go. Right, so, I believe it is, yeah, here it is, Prosperity Box, you get these Prosperity Shards, and you're supposed to be able to find them as ore, and I have yet to find any. And you need these in order to make the basic crafting seed, and in order to go further. So, we're kind of stuck right now without that ore. So, I've been doing some research and whatnot, and I found out, I apologize, my phone had to go off just as I'm recording, um, but I found out that in environmental tech the void ore miner here will actually give you prosperity shards um and you can actually use certain lenses to um to get certain ones i think i'm wanting to say it's the white lens but i'm not entirely sure um so that was that was our next goal here's the problem though it takes a lot of rf to use the void ore miner and we don't really have anything. I mean, we got the actually additions oil generator, and we got a couple coal generators, but but that's it. We don't really have any sort of whatever. Um, and we can't really do extreme reactors, which we do have in the pack. Um, for those of you who don't know, extreme yeah here we go extreme reactors. Um, the problem is is that yellowite is kind of rare. I mean, like, I've been doing a lot of mining, and look, I have 13 pieces. It's not very common. So we're going to need other options in order to find that. So, obviously we can't do that. But I do want to go power-wise. And so what I was thinking was, is, I, I thought maybe we'd stick with this uh, green power, you know? Like, we're using, obviously coal power. A coal generator is not very green, but, you know, it, it, you, you do what you, you do. However, down here, if you look... We've been using this oil pow powered, which is created from canola. Why is it not? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why that's not working right off the top of my head. Did I accidentally smack it with a redstone torch or something, maybe? No? Okay, well, I'm not really sure why that's not working, but we'll get all that fixed later. Uh, anyways, um, oh, no, actually, that needs to go back onto there. Okay. Um, so, I'm sorry, I lost track of what I was doing. So, uh, to go along with some green power, I thought we could go into uh, immersive engineering, which is not a seriously tech mod, but it does have some tech stuff in it. But one of the reasons I like it is because it uses, you can do water and windmills. Um, in order to do water mills, well, you just need these here, um, and it gets connected to the kinetic dynamo, which is really easy to make. Um, so to make these, we needed, we need treated wood and steel. Uh, treated wood is actually not that hard. All we had to do was make this, which is these bricks right here, which is just sand or sandstone, clay, and clay bricks. Um, you put it in a 3x3, three three, tap it with the hammer, and you get it like this. And then, and as you can see, it's making this into cold coke and giving us creosote. Now, creosote is how we'll make the treated wood. The steel we'll have to do, I'll, I'll do here in a minute. Let's see. Uh, there we go. So if we go like this, and then we need some wood. 
we use this red wood we got here. Um, let's see. That'll work. Okay, so if we go and we surround it like that, and we're going to get treated wood out of it. Now, treated wood can then be used to make some sticks. And then we can go like this and make these. Hmm. So we, as you see, we have enough to make one whole um, water wheel right now. Now we're going to need way more. So let's, we're going to make up a couple more uh, crafting benches because we need, we need more crafting benches. There we go. Uh, so yeah. So now what we can do is we need to make some more sticks. Go like that and that. Bing. Look at that, guys. We've got enough to make a few of them now. Okay, so now what we need to look into is steel. Because if you look right here, we need at least one piece of steel. Uh, there's railcraft steel, thermal, extreme reactors, industrial. Uh, see, railcraft steel is something you can only find. Thermal is... If I remember right, the only one we can actually do, we could do industrial class, but that would require us making the blast furnace, which we do not have. So we're going to have to do the blast, uh, uh, the blast furnace, which is nether brick, regular brick, and blaze powder. So let me get the pieces, put uh, uh, the, the stuff put together to make said bricks, and then we'll be right back and we'll get into the, putting that together and go from there. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and oh, it's nighttime. Teach me not to pay attention. So I got the resources together. Um, I had plenty of blaze, uh, blaze rods and stuff to do blaze powder, um, and I had nether rack and everything. I got that all smelted up, and that gives us 14, which is still not enough. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought for sure that was enough. Um, okay, so we still need to, let's see. I'm going to have to... Smelt some more, it looks like. Let's see. We need that. That. Put you up there. And you down here. There we go. So, 18, 20. Uh, my count was off, obviously. So, okay, guys, we're back. So we're just making up the last of what we need here. Uh, we made a few too many of that, but that's okay. So we have 28. We only need 27, of course. Right, we're gonna. Put him right here. And it's just like the other one. You just 3x3 three three block. Grab your hammer and bing. There you go. Now you have your blast furnace. And in order to do the blast furnace, all you need is iron and coal coke. And that's how you make steel. So we're going to go get us some iron. We're going to steal a whole stack here. And let's go ahead and take some more coal downstairs with us because we may need to throw it in the coke oven. So let's look in here. Ooh, we got a decent amount there. We're going to top that off with coal. And then we're going to go ding and ding. Now, what this will do, it's going to take time, but it's going to turn this into steel. You can see how slow it is. So that's going to be some time. So we're going to cut away for a bit. 
We're going to let this cook us up some steel. We're going to continue to um, making treated wood. I don't know because I hadn't told you guys yet, but I've been continually doing this. I'm looking to make a minimum of six wheels to start with. So I'll need six pieces of steel. That'll give me two full water wheel setups. Um, so when I come back, we'll start getting all that stuff set up. So I will see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, so it took me a little longer than I thought, but I got all the stuff together. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to make these water wheels. And I already got some steel here, so we're going to put our six pieces of steel in there. Bing, and we got our six water wheels. Okay, so we're going to need... Two of these kinetic dynamos, we have these, these are really simple to make. Got those. Okay. Now I think I got my spacing right, but it's been a while since I've done this, so bear with me. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure that... Jeez the wheeze. There we go. Alright. Got that part done. Now I think the the wheel is the hardest part I always thought. Perfect. Put all three water wheels on each one. Awesome, these things are set and ready to go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now. is fix these because they're not exactly right. I'm going to finish up these structures and um, I got the glass all ready to go. We're using uh, not quite clear glass or quite clear glass. I'll get the structure all finished and set up and everything and then we'll put some water in it to get them start working and uh, then we'll come back and get all this stuff set up. Okay guys, so I'm back and they are done and they are running. Um, I don't have them hooked up to anything yet, but I have the water in there forcing them to run. They're cruising along pretty good. Uh, I know there's more efficient ways to do this, and so don't bother me with the whole, you know, oh, you're not doing it right thing, because that's just, I just wanted to throw them up. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is, uh, well, yeah, actually we could use, probably, probably use a couple of those. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we're going to need some of these. And we already have some wire. So, yeah, we're good. All right. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is we will put ourselves a deal right there. Um, I have to put it up. I need my hammer. Bing. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, you can, yes, you can, walk right down those, or right up those, which is cool. Alright, now we need to go here, oh, 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 oh. Oh, connection is obstructed. Okay, we can fix this. Okay. Let's see if it'll work this time. Jeez. Come on. There we go. We take out this line of glass. I think. And oh, being stubborn. All right, can I? Put another one here then. There we go. I didn't know you couldn't go to the same one, so that's weird. 
All right, so now I should be able to, yep. Okay. Get something to eat here. Sleep away the night real quick. So the next thing we need to deal with then is we need a, a way, a place to store power. Um, there are several options. I think the simplest and cheapest option is the I want to say RF RF pools. Here it is, the power cell. It's not very expensive. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna make one of these. Uh, let's see. Do we have some iron? Yes, we do. Some iron. We need some redstone, and let's get a little bit of lapis. Okay. Um. Oh, there we go. All right. So I believe. Let's see where'd you go? It's here. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh -huh. Go like that. Take you out of there. Let's just do one of these. Yeah, let's just do one for now because we're not entirely sure it's even going to work. Uh, let's see, then we need some redstone blocks. Easy enough to do. One, two, three, four. Bing. Now we need a diamond and an emerald. Got those. Okay, now what we need to do is we need two prismarine shards. And we know from earlier that we can go... Bing. Simple solution. Really quick way of getting prismarine shards considering we don't have a guardian farm. Alright. So now we should be able to make one of these. Okay. Now I'm hoping this will work. I'm really confused at why it's not working. Okay guys, sorry about that uh, little weird cut there, but um, I had to take care of some personal stuff, and plus I had to figure this out. So. What I figured out was, apparently, they changed it to where uh, the connectors can only connect one wire from piece to piece, but the relays, which are just two less of the hardened clay and one less co uh, copper, so easier to make, can take more than one. So, what that means is now... There we go now we're getting energy so i ended up using the rf tools uh power cell here uh it can store just for there it is okay it can store one million rf so that's not bad i mean 
That's a lot of power. Yeah, okay. I love the dynamic uh, surroundings, by the way. That, that's the mod that's causing all the different sounds. If you, for those of you who are wondering, um, all those extra sounds, like the animal sounds and the sound when you're switching your tools and stuff, and the better sounds here, the sound of the water rushing. Very cool. I like this. I'm really enjoying it. Alright, so, um, I think that does it for what we're needing here. Let me think. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, what we're going to do, though, I think this is going to be this episode, and then next episode, we will be able to get into the void, um, the environmental tech and do the void resource and, uh, whatnot. I may, in between episodes, maybe throw up another couple of these. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Um... Because, I mean, just those two, you can see. that they're, they're a good amount of power, but they're not, like, the best. It doesn't tell you, like... Yeah. Probably won't be my, 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 my go-to one, though, because I'm feeling like... Yeah, I, I don't think I can, uh... Just, like, set one side to out or not. Hmm, that's interesting. Does RF Tools have a, uh, yeah, it has a wrench. How hard is that to make? Some blue dye and iron. Okay, I'll mess with that as well, because maybe that'll help. Anyways, guys, um, I think that's going to do it for this episode, though. I really do. So, when we come back next time, obviously, we'll get into environmental tech, and then we'll be able to move on into mystical agriculture and a few other things. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, make sure to hit that like button. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I think that'll do it. So, you all have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. This is Phoenix. I'm out.